Welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll explore the top 10 Washington quarter dollar coins that are worth significant money. We'll reveal which quarters are the most valuable and why, from rare mint errors to high-grade specimens. Plus, we'll provide tips on how to sell these coins for the best price. Whether you're a collector or just curious, this guide will help you identify and maximize the value of your Washington quarters. Stay tuned to learn what makes these coins special and how to turn your collection into cash. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. The 1982 D. Washington Quarter is notable because it was struck during a period and the U.S. Mint did not produce mint sets for collectors, which has affected the availability of high-quality specimens. Here's a brief overview of its value and other key details. Value of the 1982 D. Washington Quarter Circulated Condition In circulated condition, the 1982 D. Washington Quarter typically holds only its face value of 25 cents due to its high mintage and common availability. Uncirculated Condition Since no mint sets were produced in 1982, uncirculated examples are less common and can be worth more. MS60 to MS63, Mint State Generally valued around $1 to $3. MS-65 and above, coins in higher mint states, such as MS-65 or MS-66, can be worth between $10 to $20 or more, depending on demand and the specific grade. Special Varieties and Errors Error Coins Error coins from 1982, such as those with off-center strikes or double dies, can significantly increase the value. Depending on the error, these coins can be valued from $50 to several hundred dollars. No proofs, as there were no proof coins made for general circulation in 1982, the focus for collectors is on finding well-preserved examples of the regular strike. Summary The 1982 D. Washington Quarter in circulated condition is generally worth its face value, but in uncirculated condition, it can command higher prices due to the absence of mint sets in 1982. High-grade examples and error coins are particularly sought after by collectors, with values ranging accordingly. The 1980p Washington Quarter is generally a common coin with modest value, depending on its condition and whether it has any notable errors. Below is a concise overview of the coin's value. Value of the 1980p Washington Quarter Circulated Condition in circulated condition, the 1980p quarter typically holds only its face value of 25 cents. Given the large number of coins minted, over 635 million, it is quite common. Uncirculated condition. If the coin is in uncirculated condition, never used in circulation, it can be worth a bit more. MS60 to MS63, mint stayed around 50 cents to $2. MS-65 and above, potentially worth between $5 to $10 or slightly more, depending on collector demand. Proof versions and errors. Proof coins, these were struck at the San Francisco Mint and are worth more, usually ranging from $3 to $10. Error coins, if the coin has a minting error, such as a double die or off-center strike, its value can increase significantly, depending on the rarity and type of error. Summary. For most 1980p Washington quarters, the value is modest unless the coin is in exceptional uncirculated condition or has a rare minting error. The 1978 Washington quarter without a mint mark was struck at the Philadelphia Mint, which did not use a mint mark at that time. Below is an overview of its value and key details. Value of the 1978 No Mint Mark Washington quarter. Circulated condition. In circulated condition, the 1978 Washington Quarter generally holds only its face value of 25 cents. This is due to its high mintage and the lack of precious metal content. Uncirculated Condition If the coin is in uncirculated condition, never used in circulation, its value can be slightly higher. MS60 to MS63, mint state generally valued at around $1 to $2. MS-65 and above, coins in higher mint states, 
such as MS-65 or MS-66, can be worth $5 to $10 or slightly more, depending on their grade and the demand among collectors. Special Varieties and Errors Error Coins the 1978 Washington Quarter can have errors, such as off-center strikes or double dies. These error coins can be significantly more valuable, sometimes ranging from $50 to several hundred dollars, depending on the rarity and type of error. High-grade examples, coins in exceptionally high grades, e.g., MS-67 or higher, are rare and can command higher prices, potentially $50 or more at auction. Summary the 1978 Null no Mint Mark Washington Quarter is generally worth its face value in circulated condition. In uncirculated condition, it can be worth a bit more, particularly in higher grades. Error coins and very high-grade examples can be significantly more valuable and are of particular interest to collectors. The 1974 Washington Quarter without a mint mark was minted at the Philadelphia Mint. Coins from this era struck in Philadelphia do not have a mint mark. Here's a summary of the value and key details for the 1974 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter. Value of the 1974 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Circulated Condition In circulated condition, the 1974 Washington Quarter typically holds only its face value of 25 cents. This is because of the high mintage and the absence of precious metals like silver. Uncirculated condition. If the coin is in uncirculated condition, never used in circulation, it can have a slightly higher value. MS60 to MS63, mint state. Generally valued around $1 to $2. MS65 and above, coins in higher mint states, such as MS-65 or MS-66, can be valued at $5 to $10 or more, depending on collector demand and the specific grade. Special Varieties and Errors Error Coins Some 1974 Washington Quarters may have minting errors, such as off-center strikes or double dies. These error coins can be worth significantly more, sometimes ranging from $50 to several hundred dollars, depending on the type and rarity of the error. High-grade examples, coins graded MS-67 or higher are rare and can command higher prices, potentially $50 or more at auction. Summary The 1974 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter is generally worth its face value in circulated condition. Uncirculated examples can be worth more, particularly in higher grades. Error coins or exceptionally high-grade examples can be significantly more valuable, making them of particular interest to collectors. The 1972D Washington Quarter is a common coin from the Denver Mint, produced during a time when quarters were primarily made from copper nickel clad material. Below is an overview of its value and key details. Value of the 1972D Washington Quarter Circulated Condition In circulated condition, the 1972D Washington Quarter generally holds only its face value of 25 cents. This is due to the high mintage and lack of precious metal content. Uncirculated Condition If the coin is in uncirculated condition, never used in circulation, it can be worth more. MS-60 to MS-63, mint state typically valued at around $1 to $2. MS-65 and above, higher grade coins, particularly those in MS-65 or MS-66, can be worth $5 to $15 or more, depending on their condition and demand among collectors. Special Varieties and Errors Error Coins, coins with errors, such as off-center strikes, double dies, or other minting anomalies, can have significantly higher value. Depending on the error, these coins could be worth $50 to several hundred dollars. High-grade examples, since there was a large production run, finding a 1972D quarter in exceptionally high grade, MS67 or higher, can be rare and more valuable, possibly fetching $50 or more at auction. Summary the 1972D Washington Quarter is generally worth its face value in circulated condition, but uncirculated examples can be valued higher, particularly in higher grades. 
Error coins and very high-grade coins are especially sought after by collectors and can command much higher prices. The 1971 Washington Quarter is a notable coin within the Washington Quarter series, which spans from 1932 to the present. Here's a detailed look at its value and historical significance. Historical Context By 1971, the Washington Quarter had been in circulation for nearly four decades. The 1971 Quarter is part of the series minted in a composition introduced in 1965. This change was driven by economic factors, as the rising cost of silver led the U.S. Mint to switch from the 90% silver composition to a copper-nickel-clad composition. The new quarters were made with a core of pure copper, encased in a layer of 75% copper and 25% nickel. The design of the Washington Quarter remained unchanged during this period. Obverse features a profile of George Washington, the first president of the United States, designed by John Flanagan. This side also includes the inscriptions, Liberty, In God We Trust, and the Year of Minting. Reverse, displays an eagle with outstretched wings, designed by Herman McNeil. This side bears the inscriptions, United States of America, E Pluribus Unum, and Quarter Dollar. Value the value of a 1971 Washington Quarter is influenced by its condition, mint mark, and whether it is a regular issue coin or a proof. 1. Circulated Condition In average circulated condition, a 1971 quarter typically holds a value close to its face value of 25 cents. This is because the coin was minted in large quantities, over 1.9 billion were produced in 1971, making it quite common. 2 uncirculated condition, in uncirculated or mint state condition, where the coin shows no signs of wear and has been preserved well, its value can range from $1 to $5. This valuation depends on the quality and demand among collectors. Free mint marks, the 1971 quarters were minted at three locations, Philadelphia, no mint mark, Denver, D, and San Francisco, S. Coins from different mints may have slight variations in value, with those from the San Francisco mint being potentially more desirable to collectors due to their lower production numbers compared to other mints. 4. Proof Coins The 1971 quarter was also issued as a proof coin, which was struck with special dyes to produce a higher quality finish. Proof coins are more valuable than standard business strikes, typically ranging from $5 to $10 or more, depending on condition and collector demand. 5. Special Varieties and Errors There are no widely recognized major errors or special varieties associated with the 1971 quarter that significantly impact its value. However, rare errors or unique characteristics can occasionally be of interest to collectors. Collecting Tips for collectors interested in the 1971 Washington Quarter. Condition, coins in higher grades, e.g., MS-65 or PR-65, are more valuable. Proper grading can help in determining the coin's value. Mint marks, collectors may look for specific mint marks to complete sets from different minting locations. Historical significance, Understanding the historical context of the 1971 quarter, including the transition to clad coinage and its place in the series, can add depth to a collection. In summary, while the 1971 Washington quarter may not be particularly rare or valuable compared to other coins, it holds significance within the Washington quarter series. Its value is primarily determined by its condition, mint mark, and whether it is a proof or business strike. Collectors often appreciate these coins for their historical context and as part of a complete set of Washington Quarters. The 1970D Washington Quarter is a coin minted in Denver during a period when U.S. Quarters were made from a copper-nickel-clad composition, with no silver content. Here's a brief overview of the value and other key details of the 1970D Washington Quarter. Value of the 1970D Washington Quarter Circulated Condition in circulated condition, the 1970D Washington Quarter is generally worth its face value of 25 cents. Due to the large mintage and commonality of these coins, they are not particularly valuable in circulated condition. Uncirculated condition 
If the coin is in uncirculated condition, never used in circulation, its value increases. MS60 to MS63, Mint state these coins are typically valued at around $1 to $2. MS65 and above, higher grade coins, particularly those in MS65 or MS66, can be valued at $5 to $10 or slightly more, depending on collector interest. Special Varieties and Errors Error coins, like other quarters, 1970D quarters with minting errors, such as off-center strikes, double dies, or other anomalies, can be worth significantly more. Depending on the type and severity of the error, these coins could be valued from $50 to several hundred dollars. High-grade examples, coins in exceptionally high grades, e.g., MS67 or higher, are rare and can command higher prices, sometimes $50 or more. Summary The 1970D Washington Quarter is typically worth its face value in circulated condition, while uncirculated examples can be worth a bit more. The value increases significantly for error coins or exceptionally high-grade examples, making them more desirable to collectors. The value of a 1969 Washington Quarter can vary based on several factors. 1. Circulated condition. In common circulated condition, a 1969 quarter is generally worth its face value of 25 cents. This is because the coin was minted in large quantities, over 1.8 billion were produced in 1969 alone. 2. Uncirculated condition. For coins that have been preserved in uncirculated condition, the value can be higher. Typically, these coins may be worth a few dollars, ranging from $1 to $5, depending on their condition and the market demand. 3. Mint Marks The 1969 quarters were minted at three different locations, Philadelphia, No Mint Mark, Denver, D, and San Francisco, S. The value may vary slightly depending on the mint mark, with the San Francisco mint mark often being more sought after by collectors. 4. Proof Coins 1969 also saw the issuance of proof quarters, which were struck with special dies to produce a higher quality finish. Proof quarters are usually more valuable than their business strike counterparts, with values generally ranging from $5 to $10 or more, depending on condition and demand. 5. Special Varieties and Errors the 1969 Washington Quarter does not have any widely recognized major errors or special varieties that significantly alter its value. However, some collectors may seek coins with unusual features or minor errors, which can occasionally affect value. Collecting Considerations When collecting 1969 Washington Quarters, it's essential to consider Condition Coins in higher grades, e.g., mint state or proof, are more valuable. Collectors use grading scales like MS-65 or PR-66 to determine the quality. Mint marks, identifying the mint mark can be useful for collectors looking to complete sets from different minting locations. Historical context, understanding the historical significance of the coin, including the changes in composition in the broader economic context of the late 1960s, can enhance its appeal to collectors. In summary, while the 1969 Washington Quarter may not be a high-value coin in the broader context of numismatics, it represents a key period in the history of U.S. coinage. Its value primarily hinges on its condition, mint mark, and whether it is a regular strike or proof coin. Collectors appreciate these coins for their historical significance and as part of a complete set of Washington Quarters. The value of a 1967 Washington Quarter depends on several factors, including its condition, mint mark, and whether it is a regular issue or a proof coin. 1. Circulated condition. In typical circulated condition, a 1967 quarter is worth close to its face value of 25 cents. The coin was produced in large quantities, over 1.8 billion were minted in 1967, making it relatively common. 2. Uncirculated condition, coins in uncirculated or mint state condition, which have been preserved without signs of wear, can be valued at around $1 to $5. The value depends on the coin's quality and the demand among collectors. 3. Mint marks, the 1967 quarters were minted at Philadelphia, 
no mint mark, and Denver, D. The value can vary slightly depending on the mint mark, with Philadelphia mint marks being more common. 4. Proof coins. Unlike previous years, 1967 did not see the issuance of proof quarters. Proof coins were discontinued in 1965 and reintroduced in 1968. As such, there are no proof 1967 Washington quarters. 5. Special varieties and errors. The 1967 quarter does not have significant known major errors or varieties that would greatly influence its value. However, collectors might seek out coins with unique characteristics or minor errors. Collecting tips. For collectors of the 1967 Washington quarter. Condition. The coin's condition significantly affects its value. Higher grade examples in uncirculated condition are more desirable. Mint marks. Identifying the mint mark can help collectors complete sets or find specific varieties. Historical context. Understanding the shift from silver to clad coinage and its impact on U.S. currency can enhance the appreciation of the coin. In summary, while the 1967 Washington Quarter is not particularly rare or valuable, it represents a key moment in the history of American coinage. Its value is mainly determined by its condition and mint mark, with the historical context adding to its appeal for collectors. The 1965 Washington Quarter marks a significant year in U.S. coinage history, as it was the first year that quarters were produced without any silver content. Here's a concise overview of the value and key details of the 1965 Washington Quarter. Value of the 1965 Washington Quarter Circulated Condition In circulated condition, the 1965 Washington Quarter typically holds only its face value of 25 cents. This is due to the very high mintage and the absence of silver. Uncirculated condition. If the coin is in uncirculated condition, never used in circulation, it can be worth slightly more. MS60 to MS63, mint stayed around $1 to $2. MS65 and above, could be worth between $5 to $15 or more, depending on its grade and appeal to collectors. Special Varieties and Errors Error Coins The 1965 quarter can have errors, such as double dies, off-center strikes, or transitional errors, where a coin was mistakenly struck on a silver planchet. These error coins can be quite valuable, with some fetching $100 to several thousand dollars, depending on the specific error and its rarity. Transitional Errors a rare transitional error from 1965 might involve a quarter mistakenly struck on a 90% silver planchet instead of the intended copper nickel clad planchet. These are extremely valuable and can command prices of several thousand dollars. Summary The 1965 Washington Quarter is typically of low value in circulated condition, but uncirculated examples and especially error coins can be worth significantly more. The absence of silver content makes most of these coins worth their face value, unless they are in exceptional condition or have a rare mint error.